Today I'm going to show you how to use selective color to draw emphasis to a certain part of your photo. Okay, so first things first, you need to have a photo that you want to work with. And so I've chosen this one here and I've done it because, well, one, it has some really bold color in here, but I do think it gets a little lost sometimes in just the busyness of the background. Even though the background's blurry, it still has a little bit of busyness for me. Anyway, so what you need to make sure is open is uh, have your layers palette open. So mine is right here. And then also you need to have your tools over here on uh, the opposite side or the same side, whichever. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the yin yang down at the bottom and add a layer, um, an adjustment layer here. And I'm gonna go to the black and white adjustment layer. Uh, so that's gonna drop this into a black and white photo. You can make some adjustments here if you'd like to, just to kind of uh, emphasize, again, different areas. Maybe that kind of helps out the sky just a little bit compared to how it was before. Um, just kind of testing them out to see what has the best look. That definitely not. Kind of liked the darker one. Okay, we'll just stick with that. Okay, so once uh, once you have your black and white uh, preset set, uh, what you're going to do is notice here in our layers palette that the adjustment layer that we just added, which is right here, it came with a layer mask. Okay, now this is really great because what we can do is we can hide parts of this adjustment from the rest of the photo. So the adjustment is making it black and white. And if we were to hide parts of that adjustment, it would bring back the color. So notice that this is white right now. So it's white because it's revealing the black and white adjustment. And we're gonna paint with black. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to black right there and then grab my paintbrush tool. Um, I'm gonna make a couple of customizations to this. Uh, I'm gonna start with just a soft round brush, but I'm actually gonna bring that up to probably, I don't know, let's say about 75. As far as the size, I don't like to choose the size right here. Personally, I would rather do it while I'm working using my bracket keys on my keyboard. Okay, so the mode is normal, the opacity is normal, and the flow is also 100%. So opacity and flow are at 100%. Then I'm using the bracket keys, which are located to the right of the letter P, to just adjust my brush size. And notice that wherever I go, I'm just going to bring back the original color. Okay, so it is important here that you do try to stay in the lines as best you can, otherwise it will look sloppy. Uh, but let's just say, and this is the great thing about adjustment layers, is let's just say you don't have a steady hand and whoops, you go kind of out of, the, out of the lines. And maybe you don't notice it for a while and you can't just quickly undo that. What you can do is just swap back to white over here in your colors and then you can go ahead and fix that mistake pretty easily without a whole lot of fuss. Okay, I'm gonna use a smaller brush here just to kind of really get into these little smaller areas because I wanna, again, you wanna try to stay in the lines as best you can, otherwise it will look sloppy. A shortcut to swapping back and forth between colors is just pressing the letter X on your keyboard. And so I went out of the lines just a tiny bit here and so that will fix that. And the way I like to work is I usually have my left hand kind of hovering over my keyboard on the keys that I think I might use a lot. So for right now, I'm hovering over the X key because I might just be swapping back and forth depending on how well I do this. Some days I swear I feel that um, I'm just destined to go out of the lines. Okay, it's about done. That's really all there is to this. It's pretty easy and straightforward. So again, just one adjustment layer using the mask feature, painting with black using a brush. And there you have it. There is your one object that is in color. Now I do, I'm actually gonna paint this pole right here. I'm not even sure what color it is. But if I hold the shift, if I click one time at one end of it and then hold the shift key down on my keyboard 
and click, what's going to happen is it'll draw a nice straight line that I don't have to really worry about trying to stay in the lines for. Okay, so that's that. Uh, stay. Let me know if you have any questions.